first of all i am uh, very glad that i came to the kriya university campus and uh, it's been a pleasure for me to interact with all of you uh, kapil uh, lakshmi ji uh, and a wonderful session with the students very energizing for me also personally and thank you very much for that when we say we want to create logistic magic in terms of how we are able to delight our customers how we are able to delight our employees and how we delight our entire stakeholders keeping in mind our obligations for the society at large environment at large and um, uh, culture building at large so that our group remains sustainable and growing in the future so that is magical because you can't do one without another and you when you make an impact it should be like a sunshine sunshine should fall on everyone who are connected to the organization or connected to this world so that's magic for us and magic also about how progressively you think how you anticipate imagine and visualize the risks and the opportunities and how you deal with it in a very uh, uh, innovative way uh, using most times common sense uh, because uh, a traditional industry doesn't need rocket science it needs uh, basic human nature of commitment empathy and passion and uh, once you have this ingredient along with of course uh, systems and process and uh, controls and compliances all that is given uh, all that is also ne very absolute necessary you know in business beyond a point in a very early stages of course i agree it is about building business it is making profit it is about uh giving return on investment uh taking investors uh, trust and confidence uh and their interest and all that beyond a point you also have to think about an organization like an institution and institution building which creates that solid foundation for sustainability and uh, institution building is possible only when you think beyond profit you think about this the stakeholders in general and in stakeholdership that is how the entire uh, esg program is designed to make an impact to the society the society which is part of your ecosystem or society which is outside your ecosystem or society which is underprivileged so that is where the entire csr program comes in not as a mandatory requirement i think being helpful being a person develop a habit of giving proactively without somebody asking even there you can go out of your way to find out where you can make an impact one of the most important csr projects we done about 20 or 20 i think 25 or of them because my wife and few of our senior management is deeply involved in the csr program um, one of the very high impactful one is that we have uh, committed to plant a 1 million trees just outside of mumbai where there are underprivileged people living but they have land and they also have provision for water so what we have done is we have given them plants which are fruit bearing and which has been planted at their doorstep for them to look after on a day to day basis so the survival rate goes up and it also generates income to the families so we already planted about 700000 trees so we should be completing 1 million in the next couple of years so that's one of them the other one is obviously we had done quite a bit of a healthcare programs we have about 3000 or children who receive uh, encouragement um, scholarship uh, from uh, from our company uh, for better education and our idea is to take them through all the way till their graduation and they generally are underprivileged and who find it difficult to finance themselves so we proactively go to about 40 odd schools to find out such children and reach out to them 
You know, um, for managing uh, risk, uh, for risk and risk mitigation and uh, ambition, both have to be managed because too much of ambition and too much of risk taking is also equally bad as much as you take no risk and you take uh, have less ambition. So managing both of them is to me is very important. <clears throat> and uh, before taking risk, you know, it is almost like we will not jump from a building or we will not go and dive in the deep sea without taking all precautions. You measure what is the depth, you measure what is the current, you measure what is the height and what is the other knowledge that is required before you make any major decisions. Decision making is easy, but making an analytical decision is something that uh, is very important for uh, students to, to, to develop. Uh, I think the stress is generally, uh, we all know, the stress is something that uh, is inside us, right? Uh, if you are strong inside, nobody can give you stress. There will be pressure, but don't convert pressure into stress. Uh, so it is for us how we manage the stress. The way I do it is I live in the moment. I don't worry too much about what will happen, what happened in the past. I only draw lessons and I try to prepare myself for the worst, but I don't worry about what will happen to me or to the business or to anything. So uh, the other important part about stress management is look after yourself. I have been praying. I, have, I, I pray every day. I try to meditate uh, almost every day. I exercise almost every four or five times a week. I pursue my passion, I play golf, I travel with my family, I love good food, um, I don't overindulge. <laughs> um, so I think uh, try to be positive and happy with what you have. If you try and compare to other people, there is no end. You do your best and what you get, be satisfied, be happy. Never look at your neighbor or your, uh, somebody else and uh, create stress for yourself. It's okay. It's one life to live. Short. Enjoy.